must be really pleased with the first half performance in particular. Really pleased with the first 60 minutes. Uh, I think the way we approached the game, how we started, determination, we showed energy. Um, it was everything was fluid. It was a lot of movement. We played forward. Really, we were really aggressive. Scored some great goals and um, and really connected as well with our supporters and created the atmosphere that we wanted. Um, that's what I think we we won the game. Um, after 60 minutes, I think we should have scored four or five. We didn't do that, and then obviously after conceding the goal, it's still a long. Uh, period to play that we should have managed the game a little bit better. How much, how much did you need that tonight? Just the, the manner of the particularly that first 16 minutes. Yeah. I don't have a number, but uh, personally a lot, because um, if we want to have any chance to win this league, we had to win today, and uh, and we've done it. And uh, it was something there. We want to be back on top after tonight. We are, and um, and our job was done today, and there's still four more to do. You don't usually play with two left footers or two right footers in central defence. Why did you think Jakob could come in and play that role and how did you think he did? Because he looks ready, he looks fresh, uh, he looks really determined. He's been better and better every single day, not only training, but his interaction, his language uh, is more settled. And, and because he's a player obviously that I really like, that's why we signed him. And he's got the potential that he says to be, to be great. And I think he had a big task against the players that he had to face today, and I think he did really well. Any word on Gabriel? Yeah, he was uncomfortable. He tried for 10, 15 minutes. He could not carry on, which is strange for Gabby. So a bit concerned about that, because um, normally he's not one that wants to leave the pitch. Michael, Martin Odegaard got a little bit of criticism after the Manchester City game, not just for his performance, but people question his leadership ability. I mean, he answered that very well tonight with two goals to get things up and running. Do you think that was kind of unfair that he was singled out a little bit after I don't know because I don't read uh, those comments, but uh, what I can say is that he's been exceptional for us when you look at his contribution uh, every single day in the team and then what he does for us out there every single time, it's exceptional. And uh, yeah, the perfect player that plays perfect every game, it doesn't exist, but what Martin has done this season, I think, deserves a lot of credit. It's 22 goal contributions, 14 goals, 8 assists for him. I mean, those are really impressive numbers this season. That's what we had uh, to get out of him. He's got the talent, um, but he needs to occupy different spaces and become a threat um, and to have a mentality to win matches, not just to control games. And I think that's changed. And when you have someone that is as humble as him and has to have every single day pushing you to learn and improve and train, good things happen. And I think he gets reward for his work. For sure, and uh, and we discussed that. And uh, it's four games to go. We are at the top right now, and uh, and then we have to prepare for Newcastle. And let's see what happens. The only thing now we can control is that uh, we win our matches and to do that perform as well as possible. And uh, I think tonight we've done that. It would have been very easy for them to drop their heads. We cannot do that. <laughs> To be in the position we are after 10 months against the team that we are fighting for, being there, having the possibility tonight to be top, is uh, not going to allow anybody not to talk about it and not to feel it. And we have to enjoy it and we have to embrace it. And, uh, and we have to maximize the opportunity that we have because we don't know what's going to happen. Miguel, it's been a very intense period mm -hmm. uh, for you and the team. I just wonder whether you've learned anything about them, about yourself, about managing this squad during this period when you've seen them go through you know, tough times and have to dig themselves out like today? How great is to win a football match? <laughs> Having the feeling that I have right now is nothing like, like that. And going to the dressing room and feeling that energy, there is nothing like it. So everything that we go through, positive and negative, is worth when you have um, moments like that. But um, Anything is just in the difficult moments being next to them. You know they deserve everything from us because the way they try something was better than than other times. But they they fully deserve our our full support. Have you found it difficult to keep yourself up and motivated in the way that you want? No, it's just it's just the don't be on the message too much on them. You know because um, I am. 
I wake up in the morning and I cannot wait to start working and what we're going to do and how we're going to maintain that. And I know that we are taking those players <gasps> to the limit, to the very, very, very limit to be where we are. But this is the only way to do it with this group of players um, to be where we are. That's it. Do we underestimate how hard it is to recover from something like a shock of that Man City game to, to come back and play the way they did today? I don't know, but this is our job, you know, and you are an elite sport and you're going to have moments when, when you feel that you fail or you feel that you have disappointed people, uh, which is the worst thing in my, for me is that feeling of uh, we have this, we have created something and now we have disappointed people and that emotion is not nice and it takes a while to get it out of your system, uh, but then you have to bounce back and try to give joy and, and pride to people and that's what you try to do when you play. Got this huge game coming up at Newcastle on Sunday. <coughs> Does this result tonight give sort of almost renewed energy to the yeah. team? Uh, we need a reset. Uh, play the way we play, be the team that we are, and, and win the game. And obviously, that gives you confidence, comfort, and, um, and better energy, obviously, for tomorrow start preparing Newcastle. Last couple. Mikel, what did Jorginho bring to the team tonight? And was there anything more to the decision of Thomas Partey being out on the side? The one he brings every single day in training. Um, leadership, intelligence, capacity to control the game, the way he communicates with, with people, the quality that he brings, the level of attention, the experience, because he's been in many situations like this before, really pleased with the way he played. Hi, Miguel. Um, from the outside, it felt like there was a very long build-up to the City match. Now that it's gone, is it almost easier to focus to get back to what was happening beforehand? Yes, that one is gone, that chapter is gone. The one for tonight, tomorrow morning is gone, and we have to focus on the next one, that is um, Newcastle, and how we're going to prepare to, to win the game. Do you think Odegaard, just back to Odegaard quickly, do you think he actually sort of set the tone for the night tonight with the way he started from minute one? Yeah, but I think he's done that in many occasions um, um, through the season. The, the, the energy that he has when he hasn't got the ball, the movement, the quality, um, the way he is in that dressing room is, is exceptional, so we are really pleased to have him as a captain. Thanks all. Thank you.